Hello, my name is Robin West and this is my LGT1 video presentation. Today in this presentation, I would like to take a few moments to discuss the benefits of using alternative energy versus that of using energy made from non-renewable fossil fuels. We all know that clean air, clean water, and a green environment are all essential to the well-being and the continuation of life on planet Earth. As we become increasingly aware of our need to protect Earth and to preserve its natural resources, we've realized the benefits that can be achieved from the continued exploration and production of fuels made from an alternative energy source. Although non-renewable fuels are used to produce most of the energy in the United States, Americans have come to realize the important role that renewable energy can play in our energy supply. First of all, alternative energy is beneficial to both the environment as well as that of the economy. Simply because they are in abundance, they are free, and they are environmentally safe. Alternative energy or fuel is made from resources that are completely renewable, which simply means that they will never run out. According to the Energy Information Administration, alternative energy can be produced from the earth, wind, sun, water, and organic materials such as vegetation, agricultural waste, and household garbage. This has a dual benefit in that it eliminates the need for landfills and it will help to clean up the waste in the environment resulting in a cleaner planet. Another benefit of alternative energy is that it is clean. It produces less pollution and there is minimal damage done to the environment when it is produced. Now I would like to take a moment to discuss fossil fuels and the role that they play in the environment, in the economy, and the overall energy scene. Fossil fuels are formed from plants and animals that lived and died millions of years ago, and they can be found deep beneath the Earth's surface. Unlike alternative energy sources, fossil fuels such as oil, coal, petroleum, and natural gas are non-renewable, meaning that they can be used up and will not be replenished. Unlike alternative energy, energy derived from fossil fuels are cheaper to produce and according to Smoothler, is a great source of prosperity for the economy through the different industries. Fossil fuels have been and continue to be a vital part of our society. As you can see in the 2008 Annual Energy Review, if you will notice according to this pie chart how much energy is consumed by each major sector. The energy consumption is broken down into four different sectors, industrial, commercial, residential, and transportation. Each sector plays an important role in our economy. The industry, industrial sector leads in energy consumption at, 21%, at 31%, followed by transportation at 28%, residential consumes 22%, and commercial uses 19%. As long as there is a high level a, a high level of supply and demand for energy made from fossil fuels, then these non-renewable resources will become scarce, which will cause the price of gasoline, natural gas, and crude oil-based petroleum to rise even higher. This information was taken from the 2008 Energy Review. As you can see from this pie chart on the wall, 93% of energy which is consumed in the United States comes from fossil fuels. Fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum, natural gas, with crude oil-based petroleum shown as being the dominant source of energy, that means that only 7% of energy used in the United States comes from renewable resources such as solar, geothermal, wind, hydropower, and biomass. This information was taken from the 2008 Annual Energy Review. Although it is cheaper to produce, harvest, and refine fossil fuels, the damage to the Earth's environment via so surface soil damage and air pollution is profound. Emissions from automobiles, from plants, and refineries have contributed to the destruction of the Earth's protective ozone layer. As the population of the world continues to grow, so is the need of the demand for more energy. We need energy to warm our homes, to cook our food, power our factories, and power our automobiles. Because of our addiction to products made from fossil fuels, supply and demand is up, and that affects the prices of the gas pumps, the grocery stores, and other areas. The strength of our economy rests on the consumers. If prices get too high at the gas pumps, they cut down on spending elsewhere, which results in a weakened economy. 
In addition to the changes in our economy, it is also having a profound effect on our environment. Global warming as a result of pollution is not only changing our climate and weather patterns, it is threatening the existence of important ecosystems and the life forms within them. It is time for us to reevaluate and weigh the consequences of our extravagant lifestyle. Only then will we see the need to change. And unless extreme measures are taken to recap our addiction and consumption of, car consumption of carbon based fuels, then there is no hope for a healthy world for our children and future generations. That is why it is in our best interest and that of our children to further explore long-term energy alternatives to replace conventional fossil fuels. Using energy and products that are not derived from fossil fuels is a solution to preserving the delicate balance of the world's environment. Thank you. Is there any questions? Yes. If we have all of these renewable resources, such as energy from biomass, wind, solar, geothermal, and hydropower, then why aren't we using them instead of using up our non-renewable sources? First of all, energy made from renewable resources are more expensive to produce and transport compared to that of fossil fuel energy. Desired sites of renewable resources are often located in remote and hard to reach areas, so installing power lines is quite expensive. Also, there's limited availability. Because of the weather, uh, lack of sun, lack of wind, that can hinder the production of energy. Any more questions? Okay, what happens if we deplete all of our non-renewable resources? If we do happen to deplete our non-renewable resources, then we will have no alternative but to revert to the use of using renewable resources. That is why that is an area of interest for the United States government right now. They are aware of the impact that it would have on our economy if we do deplete our oil, crude, oil, coal, and natural gas supplies. Because of our dependency on these fossil fuels, a shortage would have severe repercussions on the economy. That's all. Thank you.